Good morning from Coronado Springs. We are up bright and early this morning because we are headed to Animal Kingdom for Matt's birthday. It's officially his birthday today. So we're gonna run down to the quick service in the lobby, go get breakfast, and then hopefully get on some Pandora stuff since we've never done early entry before. No. We've never taken advantage of it. So why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. Got like some sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Just regular egg and cheese sandwiches. Those empanadas look really good. They've got like a frittata or like a quiche item. Ooh, those cheesy eggs, yum. And over here, we've got a pancake station, some jumbo Mickey waffles, and some teeny tiny regular sized Mickey waffles. There is my sandwich. It looks okay, it looks a tiny bit sad. And then there's my hash browns, which do look very, very good. Have you tried the patata yet, or is this your first bite? This is the first bite. That's good too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna finish eating, and then we gotta run. We're about 15 minutes late, but that's okay, we made it. Only about a six minute drive too, that was really quick. Early entry for guests of participating hotels, that's us. I love to check for the anteater every time I'm here because he's very elusive to me, and I don't know if he's out. I've only ever seen him one time. It might be too early for him. Maybe he just doesn't like to come out anymore. This park is always so calming. Ooh, so flight of passage is all the way back there. And we're having to walk all the way down towards Africa to get in line. Hank in the tank. Hank in the tank. Forgot to stop my timer. It was only about 50 minutes, which is a great time for that. Normally, it's gonna, it's gonna be about two hours later today. Amazing flight as always. Uh, we're gonna go check for Navi River Journey because it was a five minute while we were in line. It's probably like up to half an hour now. I think half an hour is justifiable for that. Yeah. Plus, we haven't done it in a very, very long time. Ma e wa, ma e wa. a bummer that the shaman was down yeah it's always a gamble with her she's such an intense animatronic oh my glasses are fogging up she's such an intense animatronic that she just is not very reliable but yeah. i still love that attraction i feel like that attraction gets a lot of hate it's just pretty yeah it's just rainforest cafe in a boat yeah and i'm I i'm fine with that longer. it's longer than flight of passage and no one ever remembers that well that was early morning uh pandora we're already done we've been here for what an hour and a half maybe it was 50 minutes for Flight of Passage and then 20 instead of a 35 for Navi River. Do you want to go do the safari next or do you want to go do something like 
dinosaur or Maybe Everest safari. safari next. I think that was at 30 last I saw it. Yeah. Hopefully it's still early enough and the normal day I guess hasn't haven't swarmed it yet. Now another word that we like to use here in Harambe is twin day and twin day means let's go. It's a pretty enjoyable little safari. Yeah. Not the best one we've been on, but it was pretty nice. Yeah. I liked how out the giraffes were. We really don't see them much out in their actual uh, like savanna. They're, they're normally yeah. by the doors, waiting to go inside for a yeah. snack. And it was nice seeing it actually one like laying down. Uh huh. Ooh, we've let's, never seen that before. Let's go this way to the uh, gorilla trails. But I also really liked that the lions were out. Yeah. He was like really fighting to like stay awake. He's like, uh, don't yeah. fall asleep. Well, I couldn't tell if he was about to like roar or something. He looked like he was like kind of winding up for one and he's like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Ooh, they are so close. I love Okapi. Hello. Matt said these guys look like avocados. Well, you guys are the cutest ducks I've ever seen. Some birds are actively building nests in here too. You can see that branch kind of waving a little bit. These little golden ones are flying around everywhere and they're the ones that are building them. They're called what, golden Tibeta? Tibeta golden weaver, that's what it is. Imagine taking a nap with 500 of your closest friends. Super close with the zebras. Got some decent close-ups of the gorillas too. There's even more over here. Another little one. Not as little as the one up on the hill. Oh, he's getting up. The two little ones in there. We're over here in like the main enclosure. And this big guy coming from behind the trees is carrying stuff. That's a very smart way to carry stuff. I'm going to start trying that. Turns out it might also be lunchtime for him too. Far wherever you are. We're getting every character. Have you seen her? So I have one more surprise for you for today. What's something you've always wanted to do here at Animal Kingdom? You know the bridges that are in the safari? Oh, yeah. We're doing it in an hour. Oh, the tour. I booked us the tour for today. That's your big birthday gift. It's something that we've always wanted to do, and I wanted to make today special and go do it with you. It's about 12.30 is when it happens, so about an hour, or about 45 minutes, we'll go check in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get to do the walking tour and the bridge, and we get to have the snacks on the savanna kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think we get the car thing. I think that's a totally separate experience. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be fun. I'm yeah. excited to take you on it. Ooh, there's lightning. Well, that's not a good sign. So this safari tour we're getting ready to go on, they claim it's about three hours long. Yeah, it's a long one. Obviously with that thunder, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the 1230. That is the last tour for the day. So hopefully this is a quick storm that passes. We're gonna go check in and figure out what we have to do. We've yeah. never done a private tour before. Yeah, so I it's wasn't expecting it. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you didn't see it coming because again, this is another thing that I was afraid it was gonna be spoiled by emails or push notifications or you just being nosy looking through my Disney experience because it was listed in there as like, oh. as, as an activity for your upcoming trip. And I was yeah. like, oh, I hope he doesn't ever look at this. But you told me that your mom saw our, our reservation for Coronado. Oh. So, so she probably knew we were doing this probably. too. Uh, no, hopefully everything goes well. 
And if we can't do it today, obviously we live here, we can come back and do it whenever. And I'll just be a different vlog for you guys. But we're about 20 minutes from check-in and we'll see what happens. All right, so we are checked in for the tour. It is still raining quite a bit. Actually, it lessened up a little bit, but there's still lightning in the area. So unfortunately, we are not gonna go on it quite yet. There is also a group ahead of us yeah. that the we're- 11.45. Correct, so we're in the 12.30, the 11.45 is before, so we have to wait for them to at least get a, a distance in once the weather is cleared. Anything loose has to go in a locker or be attached to you. So buttons and magic bands and change and receipts that have to go in a locker. Sunglasses have to be attached to you. Cell phones have to be attached to you. Basically anything that can fall off your body into an animal pit is either not allowed or you have to have it attached to you. Uh, there are also restrooms where they're about two hours in when you get the snacks. So of the three hours that you are on this tour, two hours of it, you cannot use the restroom. So keep that in mind when booking this. Make sure you guys go. There's a bathroom just right across the way over here. We are right across from Kilimanjaro Safari, so kind of in between that. They also do still run this in rain. So they said it could be a downpour, but as long as there's lightning, that's what stops it. So unfortunately, if it is raining, I won't be taking my camera on, or at least I... I don't know what I'm gonna do because I wanted to vlog the entire thing, but obviously Mother Nature has different plans for me. Also, because you do get free photo pass with this experience, you may get less photos, yeah. which is kind of a bummer. I'll put a link to how to book this experience in the description below so you guys can check it out yourselves from there. But just additional details on pricing and weight limit because they do weigh you. You can only be a certain weight limit to do this. You can't be pregnant, certain dress code, safety measures that don't necessarily apply to us, but may apply to you so you guys can read it from there. All right, so the rain is slowing down a bit. The lightning has cleared. We are making our way into the Wild Africa Track check-in. He did say if the lightning does come back, we will have to potentially turn around. So I don't know what that means in terms of a refund or a redo or waiting. We'll find out, you'll find out with me. Here is a sampling of the gear we'll be having to wear to keep us safe. All right, so we are all geared up. I've got my vest on with all my straps and everything, my name tag. I've got like a listening device on me as well. They did a lot. It's all hooped under my legs too. So it's not the most comfortable, but it's still fine. Uh, also got a water bottle, which we get to keep. So I forgot about that. It's a nice stainless steel one. So um, I think we're ready to go. Are you all suited up? Yeah. You look like a uh, like a secretary with your little, your, your little eye class straps. <laughs> you didn't file your paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> and probably get a better view of all the stuff on you. Probably. So there's the water ball in the pocket, and then we've got the harness right here. What is that? Is that just the one that's underneath the leg? Because I can't really tell what's on me. This is probably for... Oh, the hooking on the thing so yeah. that, that you can walk with it. And the listening device right there. And then I did mention it's tucked underneath the leg, so it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not terrible. It yeah. And they did attach my camera with an additional strap just in case. They said the hippos don't play nice with the cameras, so I'd rather me have it than a hippo have it. She asked me what animals I was excited to see, and I can't really think of any other than the gators and the hippos, because I'm kind of going into this blind. Like, I've seen other vloggers do it, yeah. but I, I've kind of like avoided spoilers because I've always wanted to do this. But you can see the different things that you can do, and you can see other people doing it as you're on the regular Kilimanjaro Safari. So like, I have an idea of what we're going by, but for three hours of content, like that's a lot to see. So I'm gonna be pretty pleasantly surprised, I think. We're entering into our first off-stage area. We've been walking the Gorilla Trail up until now. We're gonna see what's up here. There is quite a bit to be careful of when walking. Lots of mud, slippery surfaces. Here's the hippo we saw earlier from inside the Gorilla Trail. Excellent. A little zebra out there. Alright, it is time for the bridge over the gators. Or crocs, I should probably say, since they're likely crocodiles. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for. Are you nervous? <laughs> not really. It's just no. a bridge. It's not like a zip line or anything. It's just a bridge with gators underneath it. It's fine. <laughs> up here so you can see what I've got going on with our system. Just a little bit more perfect. Can everyone see me? All right, here we go. See you on the other side. <laughs> Whew. 
Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, that's a big step. <laughs> this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Our gator friends are in that pond over there. And then I've got a Jeep coming right under me right now. There's a hippo. Oh, there's a whole bunch of hippos. It's a bloat. A bloat of hippos. Very cute. Uh, that's some big steps. I think Matt's finally coming. Sure. Awesome, thank you. Oops. Do you see the hippos? We've got a second bridge. There's actually a vulture on the bridge up there. Oh no. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess. He took off. Oh, he landed on this one now. What'd you think of it? Yeah, it was cool? All right, here I go, second bridge. We'll get a better look at the gators over here. Gorgeous water. Whoa. <laughs> this one definitely has a lot more uh, open planks that have to jump over. Oh, get a big old crock right there. For everyone scared of heights, you're welcome. Ooh. Got some crocks right underneath me. If you guys can see those. They're very flat looking. Looks like they were flattened. There's big boys. There's another one right there. Ooh, sorry for the shaky cam. And then Matt should be on his way now too, since I'm more than halfway. Is he started yet? Yeah, there he is right there. He looks so cute. In a little safari gear. Oh, he's got his jaws open. Look at him. He's he's ready for the tourists. That's a big yawn. Hmm. And back to sleep. Do you think it was scary at all? No, I really enjoyed it. Really? Yeah. And you hate heights. I, know, I hate heights, but I don't know. I even thought it was a little scary. The element of fun of like that's why I like that it's a decrepit bridge. Uh -huh. Just because like adds to the fun. You're almost about to perish. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you liked it. So now we're gonna get even closer to the gators with this little wrap around metal thing that uh, they said we can lean pretty far in. Not like super far, obviously you don't want to fall in, but we can get even closer to the gators. Head on in. Thank you. We are attached and ready to go. I can get pretty close too. We're pretty close to the edge. And so, uh, in this, during Terrellation with them, which is pretty normal for crocodiles, right? These boys don't love each other, they just kind of. Well, this is also the time where we get to take off our harnesses. Steps, it's all me watching what we do. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
Well, well, this was a nice surprise, and I didn't know that this was part of it. Yeah. I thought it was a totally separate thing. Because I was wondering, I was like, how are we going to have three hours doing this? Mm -hmm. They're such efficient hunters. Uh, we think of carnivores like lions and cheetahs out in Africa being probably the best of the best. There's six of them out here on the savannah. And then our zebras, the stars of the show. We've got our baby zebras Babies. out here, uh, Cricket and Dot. I'm not sure from this distance which is which, but you can actually tell the difference mm -hmm. between the two. So many um, <laughs> Um, this is and that's eight. This is eight of nine of our total giraffes on the screen. This is very, this is strange. Wow. But I'm not surprised that the giraffes are being strange because they're strange animals sometimes. They have strange behavior. Sometimes start their own bull herds uh, in their own groups of males. Not all the time. It's not super common, but we can see it sometimes. That's actually happening with our males in our facility here. We actually have a uh, successful bull herd, which again, not super common. What do you think so far? It's really cool. Yeah. It feels weird being up here. Mm -hmm. I've always been able to see it, but mm -hmm. never to be up here. Yeah. We got a great view, too. There's all the, the giraffes, the tower that we went by, Tower of Giraffes. And we've got a great view of the zebra as well, including there's one of the babies. I don't know where the other one went, but they are both out there. Dot and Cricket, is that what their names are? I think yeah. is what they said, Dot and Cricket. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Oh, yeah, you can get a better like side profile of one of them. Fun hidden Mickey fact, but the dirt mounds over there that the flamingos hang out in is a hidden Mickey. I think both babies are out now. Oh, we got some action, some chasing happening. Stand very close to mama. We've also got some binoculars so you guys can get a better view of the savannah. There's a surprise giraffe that just popped out mm -hmm. from the bush over there. We get to have our little finger food lunch here in this little, uh, technically it is a Boma. If you guys are familiar with the restaurant over at Animal Kingdom Lodge, uh, they have a restaurant there called Boma. It means it's a safe space. So we are up here in like a gated area away from the wilds of Africa. So we are in a Boma. Oh, Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. I'm very intrigued by the shrimp. Um, but bamboo is actually a plant, so just like oh my you know, God, when you so cut good. your garlic, it's a grass. Have you tried the shrimp yet? Not yet. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love it. What's been your favorite thing so far? Um, I've only really had the hummus and that with the hummus. Yeah. But it's all. I'm surprised you ate the olives. They were actually really good. Yeah. Where someone who eats olives. Works at yeah, okay. Yeah, the chicken wrap is also really good. It's nice that everything's chilled too. Yeah, oh, I know. All this food is exclusive to this experience, and most of it was made by Tusker House, which is a restaurant here. We've actually already been to Tusker House. We've done a vlog on that as well for breakfast, uh, character breakfast, so we'll include that in the description below and the video at the end. My favorite thing was the shrimp. I really, really like the shrimp. I think mine might have been the hummus. Really? And maybe the hummus with the olives. I don't know who you are today. I know. You're loving olives. You're going and doing things with heights. You've changed. It's probably because you're a year older. I think that's what it is. Oh. Hi, cutie. You gonna come closer? Hello. I see you inching closer to me. You know I love you. So we just finished our first private tour at mm -hmm. Disney World. What did you think of the Wild Africa Trek? I thought it was really nice. It was really fun, and it was fun getting to do exclusive things that yes. you can't do anywhere else on like the property. It feels very special to be in an area that you've seen a mm -hmm. hundred times and now you actually get to set foot on it. Mm -hmm. It really feels like it was Kilimanjaro Safaris Plus. Yeah. Because it was a lot of actually doing the safari, but more information, mm -hmm. more obviously physical walking. And a more intimate like setting with like the cast members. Cast members yeah, because there was get asked personal questions. Yeah, because there's only nine of us mm -hmm. on, on the tour. Extremely knowledgeable, mm -hmm. love the cast members. 
Alex, Miranda, Mike, and Meg were all fantastic. You guys did a wonderful job. Learned some fun facts. Learned about hippos getting cavities oh, yeah. from, from, from eating watermelon. Mm -hmm. A lot of behind the scenes things. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was a lot of things like, oh, do you think this is real or Disney real? So it's those things that like I know aren't necessarily real, but it's interesting hearing them mention like, hey, this tree isn't real, which I learned that they have like secret water reservoirs yeah. inside of the baobab tree, inside of the termite mound, and I just never would have thought or about behind that. Rocks, or behind rocks. By where we had our lunch, there was a rock that had like a water dish on it. Oh, I didn't it. even yeah. see that. The food was amazing. Mm -hmm. I really love the food. Again, it is exclusive to that experience. I think one other experience, but you can only have it yeah. if you pay the extra to do the thing. And I thought it wasn't gonna be a lot of food, because like from like, it like, look like a visual a lot. perspective, yeah. it doesn't look like a lot at all. But I thought it was so good and so filling. It was very very filling. Lots of protein heavy things. So I w I walked away pleasantly full. Yeah. It does require physical activity. Obviously, you guys saw us do the bridge, and you guys saw us walking a lot of. Just walking through actual nature. Yeah, walking through actual nature. There's lots of tripping hazards involved. So make sure you guys are physically ready to conquer this, because um, it it's not necessarily hard for us, but for some people yeah, it might I was gonna be. Say like, honestly. Walking around the parks is a lot harder than what we just did. I think so. Yeah. There's just elevation things to trip over. Yeah. So you just gotta be careful. Just watching where you step, all the roots and stuff. That can yes. Be, well, for us, we're specifically slippery. Yes, because it did rain, which I'm very fortunate and very thankful that we could do this experience. But I thought it was wonderful. Again, all the information about this will be in the description for you guys below to check out pricing and the restrictions and all that good stuff so you guys can check out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed us being on it. One thing I want us to start getting better at in our blogs is cast compliments. It's very easy. You guys go in the app, go to cast compliment. You can fill out the cast member's name was, you can fill out where they worked and kind of how they made your day special. Mm -hmm. And a really fun experience like that, I think warrants, oh. a, you know, oh, a yeah. huge thanks to them because these cast members do a lot. Mm -hmm. They really, really do. So being able to thank them for their hard work. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, cast members actually do hear the recognition and, mm -hmm. and it does go a long way. So make sure you thank your cast members. They're yeah. very, very hard workers. Yeah, because like even once like we left the safari track, Alex remembered that it was my birthday. Yeah. Even though I hadn't had my button on since. For like two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Matt was very distracted by Pocahontas and we just missed her and Miko. Oh, bye friends. You were very eager to show her your shirt. She probably wouldn't have been able to see it from She's probably like, who is that? <laughs> well, it's a few hours later. We are freshened up. I feel much better. We're going to go to dinner to Three Bridges Bar and Grill, which you've been looking forward to for a while. I've already looked at the menu. Did you ever look at it at no, all? No, I never did. No. So it is tapas style. So it's a lot of small plates. They do have a couple entrees, but they have like a like cheese dip that sounds really good. They've got oh, some yeah. steak frites that sound really good. So we're going to go check that out. They do have a to-go option, so you can mobile order for there, but we're just gonna actually go eat since it is actually pretty nice out now. Yeah. It's not really hot anymore. It's actually kind of sprinkling a It lot. is a tiny bit, yeah. The rain really cooled down the day. Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't watch our first vlog, where we checked in last night, Three Bridges Bar and Grill is quite literally in the middle of the lake, connected by Three Bridges. Very easy to find. Here is a brief glance at the menu for Three Bridges Bar and Grill here at Via del Lago. Like I said, it is uh, kind of a bunch of small plates. They do have some entrees, some desserts, and of course they have beers and ciders and stuff, mixed drinks. I'll be putting the full menu or a link to it in the description below so you guys can check it out from there. They also have very strange hours. This is a dinner only location, which is actually most of Coronado Springs, which we found out on our tour mm -hmm. that I figured this would be a great place for lunch, but for yeah. some reason it's only dinner. But we're gonna go check in, see how long the wait is, because you can't make reservations. It's first come, first serve. 45 minutes has passed. We have our seat here at the table. We have a lovely view of the lake from here. We've also got some really bad weather coming in. We got pretty lucky. We got seated before the rain hit. So hopefully we're here long enough that it passes. We don't have to walk back a wet mess. We're definitely gonna start with that cheese dip, because that's been very heavy on my mind. And you said you're torn between what? The coconut curry chicken or the poke bowl. All right, the appetizer is here. This is the Manchego and Oaxaca cheese dip. This has chorizo, roasted red peppers, and tortilla chips. This looks so good. Yeah, it smells really good, too. Mm. That's good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
That's so good. The server did recommend the corn dip uh-huh. as a starter, but I'm glad we got this. Yeah. Means we'll have to get the corn dip next time. Yeah, the corn sounds really good though. And the birthday boy got himself a drink. This was the La Fresa Limonada. Uh-huh. So it's like it's like an alcoholic strawberry lemonade. We actually have a pretty decent view of the Epcot fireworks from here. I got the steak frites. They did have an option to upgrade to a larger sirloin, but I chose to just go with the original. I thought it'd be like com- like combined, but they did them separate, which is fine, I guess. And then you got the chicken curry. Coconut. Chicken coconut curry. It does look pretty good. It looks yeah. a lot different than I thought it was gonna look. Yeah. But it looks good, and your naan looks really good, too. Yeah. I'm most excited for the basmati rice. Yeah. Uh, basmati. Yeah. If I can get some rice. It's really good. It's odd that like a coconut curry is like at a kind of Mexican inspired restaurant. Yeah. But it's, I mean, if it works. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh my gosh, that is good. Yeah. That's real good. That steak does look pretty good. I ordered a medium. I don't feel like I got a lot of steak, so as pricey as this meal is, that's kind of eh, but like, I I get it. That chimichurri is real nice. I'm really glad I got this one. That was really good. It's pretty good. Well, this is a nice surprise. Our waiter just brought us two little glasses of like wine or champagne and a little birthday churro. That's cute. You were just saying how we should maybe get churros. Like a cajeta sauce, maybe, or it's oh, it's like um, like a chocolate sauce. Is that good? Can I steal a nibble? <laughs> That's a good churro. That's very good. Yeah, I'm surprised. But those are Magic Kingdom. <laughs> and cheers. Happy birthday. And that little churro was so good that we ordered an entire serving of them. Cause I I couldn't have just one bite. Yeah, it was really good. They were very good. You get quite a bit too. You do. I think it's a better deal to get this in like one at the parks. Yeah, oh for sure. When they're nice and warm too. And the sheer amount of like sugar and cinnamon on it. Churro cheers. Ding! All right, what were your final thoughts on dinner? It was really good. I think it's worth the hype. Yeah, I thought it was really good. What was your favorite thing that you had? Uh, probably my entree. It was really good. The, ch- the chicken was really nice and tender. I did like your entree quite a bit. I could have used a little bit more of the sauce, but I didn't want to bother them since it was really busy. Yeah, they seemed a little short-staffed tonight. Mm-hmm. It was a fairly long well, dinner. And I think because of the, the rain, it caused a lot of people. Because I know when we were like waiting to get seated like a lot of people said they were coming because the pool is closed that's because true because of the lightning they did they did uh i think my favorite thing was honestly the starter the cheese dip and the churros the churros are really good oh my gosh i loved the churros so much i think my birthday one was better than like the basket but the, they were still really good yeah it the birthday one kind of had like not like a day old vibe to them, but they were like a little bit crispier. Like it, they may have been sitting out a little longer. I don't think it's sitting out in like long. a good was, way. I think it was fried longer. I think my most disappointing thing might actually have been my entree. Also, sorry if it got dark real quick. We're walking back to the room, so hopefully you guys can still see us. It's very, it's a very dark resort. But yeah, um, nothing wrong with my entree. I just felt like it was a little. It wasn't very warm. It wasn't, and I don't know if it's because we were vlogging or if it was just because it was really, it's really cool out right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Or if it had just been... Perfect Florida. It is perfect Florida evening. Or if it had just been sitting out, um, like, in a window waiting to be taken to my table. I obviously wasn't going to send it back because I still enjoyed it. I still ate it. But that may have been my least favorite thing. But honestly, I think I could eat there and just do starters and desserts and be totally happy. I feel like they also have a really good selection of drinks, too. Yes. Like, my drink was so good, and it was pretty strong. Like, I honestly usually don't take as long as I do with drinks, mm-hmm. but that one I was kind of sipping, I was like, oh my god, I still got more. I know, you were savoring that. Oh, 
yeah, great place. I think it'd be fun to go there and get starters and drinks with friends. I think it's a great kind of, kind of hangout spot. I still think it should be open for lunch. Yeah. Still very strange it's only a dinner spot because it feels very much like a daytime lounge. Um, yeah. But that's kind of the whole thing with this whole resort is that most of the food doesn't open until dinner time. But yeah, it was really good. I liked it. It's the next morning. We are packing up because we are checking out of the room. What did you think of your birthday weekend? Did you enjoy yourself? Mm -hmm. It was fun. Yeah. I forgot to ask, what was your favorite part on the safari trek yesterday? Probably the bridges. Mm hmm And the, like, little, uh, like, dining area. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Those are obviously unique to just that. What did you think of Coronado just, like, as a whole, since we finally got to stay here? It was really nice. Like, I know this is usually, like, considered the loud resort, just because of... I mean, besides All Stars. Yeah. Since it has the convention, but I mean, from what we dealt with, I thought with us being where we were, it was quiet. Yeah, it was and pretty nice. quiet. It was a little bit louder last night than it was the day before. Yeah. I think the entire convention is here. Mm -hmm. So even though we are out here in Ranchos in the far back, we did get a bit of an audience, but it, it still wasn't horrible mm -hmm. at all. It wasn't disruptive in, in, yeah. in any sense, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed staying here with you, and I'm glad you had a good birthday weekend. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys like our video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you guys get updates on all of our future adventures. And as always, thanks for making memories with us. We'll see you next time. I forgot to mention, I never went swimming. Oh, yeah. I never did. I really wanted to. That just means I need to come back and stay here again and go down that, that pyramid slide. Yeah. That'll be a next time thing.